Hello there, it's Dr. Alana DeGrasse here. Welcome. Today is August 7th, 2021. Can I just ask you a favor? As soon as you're done with this, click like or comment hashtag UPML below to let me know you are ready to say, I want to upgrade my life. Now, if you're part of my YouTube page, Instagram page, or Facebook communities, I want to say that I'm so proud that you have decided to level up your goals, to level up your skills. And guess what? Throughout these next months, for the remainder of 2021, I want to give you some juicy tips, ideas, and insights as to how you can move forward. So today, we are going to talk from my book, Tomorrow Can't Wait. Tomorrow Can't Wait. Do you love that title? Well, you know what? I'm reading from page 28 in the book. And it says, there is work for you to do. So can you put that in the chat box? There is work for me to do. Now, a lot of times when we have worked in a given industry or we've worked in a given capacity for many, many years, we somehow think that everyone knows how to do what, we're, what we've done. Or we somehow forget to think about all the individuals we've looked at eye to eye, helping them to solve a solution or all of the planes or buses that we took to be the solution for our given companies or all of the dialogues we've had to negotiate, to settle contracts, to think about ideas for solving additional global problems. And then we come to a plateau where we say, I am on a quest for so much more. But you know what, when I meet experts, when I meet leaders, when I meet thought gurus, many times they tell me, you know, yes, I worked in education for many years, or I worked in the corporate world for many years, but I've always wanted to write a book, or I've always wanted to share my wisdom, or I've always wanted to create a digital course. But it seems like I just can't get these things together. I just can't streamline everything. And I find that I'm here, there, and everywhere. I just want you to know that you're not alone. I've been there before. You see, I had a luggage packed with all my goals, my dreams, and things that I wanted to do. It's not that I, I wasn't aware of the skills I had, but I, I just didn't have the time, or I thought I didn't have the time to systemize my own expertise until after a 15 year mark, after a diagnosis of endometriosis caused me to get still and say, wait a minute, what else do I want to do before I leave this planet? What are the skills that I have that I would like to share? And you know, we are in some really challenging times. Two million people decided to start businesses in the midst of COVID-19. Thousands and thousands of our students had to pivot and learn things online. Parents had to become online learners and they weren't even thinking about it. So there were so many things happening in 2020, and here we are in 2021, still feeling the ripples of the prior year. But one of the things I want us to remember is in spite of all the challenging times that we're experiencing, the sun is still rising every morning. Now, I know that might seem like a light thing, but to me, the fact that the sun still rises, the birds are still chirping, <laughs> gives me just enough hope to realize there's still more work for us to do. And so in this chapter, chapter seven, page 28 in my Tomorrow Can't Wait book, I talk about how there was this one particular day where I was teaching my students the importance of communicating effectively. And one of my most excited and exuberant students who would always raise his hand and always be fully attentive just wasn't himself that day. And one of the things I was talking to the class about was sharing from your heart the things that mean the most to you. And he just ran out of the room before I could even finish what I was saying. At the end of the class, I asked him to come back and he came back in and explained to me that he had a, a life-threatening diagnosis. And with tears in his eyes, I looked at him as he shared with me just the devastation of this diagnosis. And I said, you still have work to do. 
Now we have seen people struggle with COVID-19. We've seen people struggle with cancer and all different types of things. We've seen people suffer job losses, family uh, challenges. And you know, when it rains, sometimes it pours. However, we have to find the resolve to pull out that internal umbrella and say, it's raining out here, but what more can I do? See, it wasn't comfortable getting a diagnosis of endometriosis. Matter of fact, it was very painful. I had to definitely go through surgeries and definitely look at what was important to me. And at the same time, I had a lot of resentment and anger, and I had to figure out what was my next going to be. And that's when I realized, Alana, you have so much in you right now that you could use, so much story that you want to share, so much wisdom about all the places you've traveled to, the people you've touched, the, the, the lives you've been able to transform. Why don't you just start writing this book now? So you know what I did? I got up and I immediately started writing that Tomorrow Can't Wait book. And I want to just encourage you to know that there is work for you to do. There's always things that are right at our disposal that we can look at that can inform our practice of what we do, but can also inspire others. So I'm going to leave you with this. Remember, there's always something you can do. There are opportunities around you every single day. I'd love for you to comment below and let me know what are the opportunities you're striving for in 2021? What are you striving for in August? What are some of the things you wanna see accomplished before the year ends? Well, that's it for me. Make sure you follow all of the social media platforms that I'm on to learn how you can say, I want to upgrade my life, hashtag UPML. That's it for me, yours truly, Dr. Alana DeGrasa, president of Turning On The Lights Global Institute. Make sure you visit our website and click the link below to take hold of some of our upcoming events. See you soon.